Responsibilities. Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please. I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no. You still have to do all the studying yourself. Oh. But now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured with knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa! We're having a frog race. Wanna jump in? It'll be fun. Doma even made a prize. Oh, so cute. Oh, but I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set and croak. And the winner is Lisa. Good well job, done. Lisa. <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie, I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa, I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget... <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's all gold? Yep, from head to tail. Want to come see? Yes! Actually, uh, no. Sorry, I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. Excuse me, hi. Are you the Golden Dragon? I'd like to see you. Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Oh, guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Mooney's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands. No way, really? Come on! That was your fifth lap around. It's my turn now. We're almost done. Now it's time for the grand finale. Ready, go! <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? Baba Yaga, playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give six paws back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course, collecting toadstools, weaving nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From six paws. An invisibility hat. And golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. Oh. Ah! Help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities. 
Cheese! You're not done with them yet? Don't worry, this is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? Huh. The same way as other tasks. You just do them. <sighs> all right, then. You all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can huh. detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight, even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. Oh, great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. The Wondermont Boomerang. New height and now it is my signature move the Rooney double flying rainbow move one two hey, hey, hey. one two three four <gasps> did you see that he did four full twists exactly it helps you throw the boomerang harder the El Dorado leap with a surprise it's the best way to attack dragons you know dragons of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> Happening. Oh. Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. Oh. Ah. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea?
Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> the Favorite Toy Girls, did any of you see my teddy? Dorma? Let's look for Teddy tomorrow. It's time for bed. Oh, I'm ready to drop. Mm. I'll be quick. He's here somewhere. Maybe he fell. Teddy! It's late. It's time for bed now. All right. Let's see what we've got here. These belong in the museum. Ooh. I've seen you before. Are you magic? You probably belong in the museum, too. Dorma, are you still looking? I thought my teddy was here. Dorma, you are too old for toys and teddy bears. You can sleep without him. Okay. Don't worry, Teddy. I'll find you tomorrow. All right, sit here. Let's play together. Look at what I can do. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Fine, see ya. Ah, there's so much stuff here. That's an interesting cupboard. Huh. Wow, that's quite a trick. I want to be big too. Did you keep looking for him even at night? Yes, but then Daria woke up and said I'm too old for toys. That I should act my age and fall asleep without my teddy. I don't need him anymore. But Teddy isn't just a toy, he's my friend. We'll find him, don't worry. Mr. Immortal has a spell for finding lost things. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Let's play circus. Look, I have a whole troop here, and you will be the main event. Why are you crying? You're tired of sitting there? Of course! Why didn't I think of that? A traveling circus! Hey, wait! We haven't taken our troop with us. Fine, I'll bring the troop. You'll get the audience. Teddy, where are you? <laughs> Teddy, he's here. And there's our audience. Prepare to be amazed by our astounding circus performance. Awesome. Where did 
come from? Maybe the teachers did it as a surprise. Our first act is the Living Tower! I have a bad feeling about this. Taller, taller, even more! Oh, flowers! Oh, great! Oh, yeah! What a tremendous tower! Let's make it taller! It's not tremendous at all! It's going to fall on the school! No, it's not! Oh, an ice tower! What an awesome circus! What is going on? Let this bewitched being return to its oh, original Marlene, form. Marlene, you can't. You made him even bigger. We need to know what kind of magic brought the toy to life. Otherwise, <laughs> the spell won't work correctly. <laughs> life elixir, growth potion. So that's why there are large chess pieces and clowns walking around. Maybe they were the ones who took Teddy. La 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 Be amazed by the juggling clown extraordinaire. Watch out. This is why I don't like chess. Are you? Girls, watch out! I'm activating protection! I can't hold this much longer! I'll help you! <laughs> Leave it! Let it fall! We'll come up with something else! Hey, Sloan! Just what did you do with my teddy? I found his ribbon, so give him back! I need my teddy! He's my friend! You lost uh. your teddy, huh? I know what to do. Marlene, if you shrink him, Dormer will fall. You are not part of my troop. All right, fine. I'll take you. You'll be <laughs> our flying acrobat. Holly. <laughs> we need to distract him. Hey, clown. We're artists, too. What's this? Wonderful. Tree frog. A real circus. Hey, I'm riding a horse. Nice. A round of applause. What an awesome troop we are. And finally, my act, the flying acrobat! No! Oh, to the moon! <laughs> hey, my teddy! I missed you so much. Your teddy is a real hero. I would never guess that a simple toy could do something like that. I wish I had a friend like that. And what shall we do with him? Put him somewhere far away. The museum? Maybe it'd be better if we found him a new owner. Somebody who would play with him. Girls, I leave you alone for one day. And we end up with an entire circus outside. So, who's responsible for this mess? Oh, my clown, where did you find him? It's been so long. You are my favorite toy. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, when I was a child, this toy was my best friend. <laughs> and frankly, I'm very glad to see him again. Hello, old friend. The Seven League Boots. Rooney. You need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention? Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow. Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh? I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. 
Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Oh, thank you, Rooney. What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! What's wrong with her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye told tools while ye may. Stop that! I'm sorry! I'm not doing this on purpose! The boats won't stop! Now you've done it! Run to the Enchanted Swamp! At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden! Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this! It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win! <laughs> we'll see about that! Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore! What's happening? <laughs> Your boots unzipped! That must be why I can't control them! And Baba Yaga sent me to the swamp! Oh no! This is all my fault! Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> run, run! Into the swamp where you belong! Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove! Someone oh. help me! I'll teach you a lesson! First is your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools! Lisa, take my hand! Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now! I'll show you both! Rooney, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney! Thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! <laughs> uh, 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 what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? and the Seven League Boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive mm. you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up, and I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too, and clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, 
first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness. Look over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes, it was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. 
Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leet soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us. Eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> what have we here? Uh, well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, but my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> they really grew! Mm -hmm. They're ripe too! Well done, Daria! Professor Grunwald will be thrilled! He thought this variety of apple was lost forever! Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany! I'm so glad Al kept those old seeds! Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples! Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well! They're just like your fairy tale! Try my apples! Mmm! These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mmm, mm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. <gasps> oh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> hey! Give me some more! That pie was the bomb! What's happened to them? I did this! It's all my fault! My rejuvenating apples got into the pie! Oh no! And I was so excited to find them! We didn't have enough! I don't understand! Why did you pick them? It wasn't many! I only picked a few! Hey! Let's play tag! There's a teacher's meeting! And it's starting now! Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session! Professor Grunwald is waiting! <gasps> What should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, if things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Oh, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slaying it. One uh -huh. month's cool. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical knowledge. Rock and the berry. Uh -huh. yeah, don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh... We've achieved tremendous success with uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew, close one. Well, you done? Almost. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Ta-da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. It didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Ah, uh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh, such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. <gasps> the antidote won't. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> <laughs> The Book of the Future. I passed my test! Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy. Talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class... We'll be learning how to ride magical beasts! Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Doria, what's wrong? That is the one class that I will never ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school, because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from. It's not the same, though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that we had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the Immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future... You'll be a great rider, or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant, <sighs> will never become a great rider. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great rider? You could just be kind of good, or, you know, not bad. Mm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors that cannot be breached, even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? <gasps> hey, give that book back. We have to return it to the library. All right, Book of the Future. You better be wrong about this. <gasps> it worked. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Back. I mean, forward. <laughs> Some princess. Look at you. Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree okay? How will you do with water? Don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry. <laughs> we won't catch her like this. Think, Daria. Oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward. And march. 
Right, middle, back. Left, middle, left, right. <gasps> Done. You did a great job. Now we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh, that is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress. Of Wondermont! <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress! <gasps> ah! Come back this instant! I command you! As Empress of Wondermont, I command you! Mr. Immortal, look what Baba Yaga wrote in there! Well done! Daria, well, you Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and we'll get along with all manner of magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Bell the Artist draws comes to life, even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <sighs> 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 Huh? <coughs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work again. Another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstein of Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it! See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Bell the Artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont. <sighs> yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot. It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon! Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon! If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you've gotta... just go sit on their golden chest uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented, a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever! What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Hmm, with her talent I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal! <laughs> Look! We're here! I think I'm more talented already. I think the 
the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests. We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th. Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master. Oh, wow. The Sun Knight's chest. Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool. Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest. El the artist's chest. Silvestina's chest. Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! with that. So long! Returning potion! Looks like they're all back in their places. Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. <laughs> hmm. And the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen, but that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the Brave Potions Master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <gasps> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full, they turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> A chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh, hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. 
My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor. What time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cut class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls. Who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me El Dorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm. Are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because oh. I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical El Dorado exploding pepper. This is what gives El Dorado stew its one of a kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. No. Watch out! <gasps> the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. Ah! Uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor, too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Blech. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Domo will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. No! <laughs> well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. <gasps> oh. Thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh. Why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! You're here too! Ah! today I'm here to announce the results of the election by unanimous decision we have chosen a class president it's you Helen really of course while Rooney and Lisa were bickering you were actually helping out even Lisa and I voted for you and we made up too okay I'll try to be a great president in honor of this happy event may I offer a celebratory dinner Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! The Gauntlet of Might. Okay, next, the Invisible Princess. Wears the Cloak of Invisibility and has 104 feet. Correct. What about the Solar Knight? <sighs> His has shining armor. 232, uh, uh, no, no, 233 feet. That's right. These heroes perform so many amazing feats. They had it easy, though. 
If I had shining armor, I could perform new heroic feats every day. Huh? Perhaps we should wait to study it, Professor. The Gauntlet of Might is a powerful, yet extremely moody artifact. Good idea. Let's let it calm down first. <laughs> uh -huh. Should we put it somewhere safer while it calms down? No, no. The Enchanted Cube is the only way to take its power away. Oh, speaking of which, we've spent a lot of power ourselves. I suggest we recharge after the long journey by taking a short nap. Hmm. The Gauntlet of Might! That sounds awfully heroic. Did you belong to a famous hero? And now you want to make me a hero? Hmm. I guess if you're going to insist... Whoa! Step aside, Solar Knight! I'm taking the lead in the hero contest! Now I've got the gauntlet of my eyes Things that always seemed out of sight Suddenly you're all brought to light No more thinking small Fighting evil all day and night Magic that would give them a fright Never gonna lose in a fight I can do it all Levon? And there's only one in the whole world. Can I try it on? Just for a little bit. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> it's a little stubborn sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around. If you don't want to share, just say so. <gasps> Ow! My nose! <laughs> I didn't know Levon was so funny. <laughs> I don't think he's joking. In our old school, the hallways were always so busy. But it's so calm and quiet here. Whoa, whoa, somebody help me! Levon, <laughs> what are you doing? It's the gauntlet! <laughs> this way! <laughs> Please, stop, gauntlet! <sighs> It's too powerful. We couldn't stop it with all five of us together. The Gauntlet of Might is extremely dangerous. It belonged to an ancient and powerful villain called the Treacherous Cavalier. How do we take it off? We can't do that, but we can transfer it to another hand using a magic spell. Where are we supposed to get another hand? I know. The Black Glove. Oh, Black Glove, we need your help. <laughs> Levan, repeat after me. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. So long. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. It really worked. I spoke too soon. Oh no, it got away. I can't open it. Then you'll have to stop it on your own. How can I do that when I can't even rescue my own friends? I'm no hero. Levon, you saved me without gauntlets before. Remember when our school ran away and you pulled me out before I got hurt? You got me, Levon! Levon. You Levon. can do it, Levon! Levon. 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 Defend yourself, Gauntlet! <laughs> Looks like you might need a hand getting back to the cube, huh? Ooh, 
Oh my, I must still be dreaming. Wait a second. Mr. Immortal! I won't let you get away! Levon, over here! I hope that you understand now, Levon. It is your actions that make you a hero, not magical objects. Your actions today were incredibly brave and heroic. Thank you.